What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that Red Dragon Archfiend subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1100 ladder. I know I've been doing a lot of news videos lately, and I hope that that's not getting stale. Let me know down in the comments below, do you like these news videos? I'm definitely going to be doing them in the future as, like, more stuff gets revealed. Uh, I just know that, like, the past several videos have kind of been all that, um, but I do like to try and tie in a discussion with it as well. So let me know down in the comments if we should keep this great train rolling and hope y'all are having a fantastic day and i hope you're having a great weekend so the jack atlas structure deck dropped um for first of all the art's dope it's really badass right <sighs> pulse of the king i really don't know what to think about this stuff because it it seems like it has so much potential but it seems like it's just such hot garbage ladies and gentlemen now I get that not every structure deck is going to be broken, and the Resonator cards themselves are actually pretty insane, considering that they come from the 5Ds era, so most of them aren't hard once per turns. Like, Resonator Call is literally a rota for Resonator monsters. That seems really good, especially since we're getting a new Resonator monster in the form of Soul Resonator. So we've got three cards to go over here. We'll go over them, and we'll discuss along the way. So the first one we have here is Scar Red Dragon Archfiend. That's some badass artwork. Dark Dragon Synchro Effect Monster Level 8, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense, one tuner plus one or more non-tuner dark monsters. All the, I think the majority of the Resonator monsters, if I remember correctly, since I was looking at them a little bit ago, are all dark, so that's fine. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. This card's name becomes Red Dragon Archfiend while face up on the field or in the graveyard. That's great, because now any of the spell and trap support that says if you control Red Dragon Archfiend can be utilized with this card. If this card is sent from the monster zone to the graveyard, you can special some one Red Dragon Archfiend. Notice that that doesn't say Red Dragon Archfiend Monster. It says Red Dragon Archfiend. From your extra deck, this is treated as a Synchro Summon. Then if this card was sent to the graveyard as a Synchro Material for a Dark Dragon Synchro Monster, you can destroy all the opponent's attack position monsters. So essentially what they want you to do with this is Synchro off with it to make like maybe the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend that's like a negate or something pop all the opponent's attack position monsters, and then also be able to special summon out the original Red Dragon Archfiend. I don't know if forcing players, I get because it's a Jack Atlas structure deck, so they want to shoehorn in the original Red Dragon Archfiend, but I don't know if that's really necessarily going to be good because Red Dragon Archfiend on its own honestly kind of got power crept, I would argue, about 10 years ago. You know, all Red Dragon Archfiend does is that it's a generic level 8 synchro that... Whenever it attacks, it can destroy all other attack position monsters. So, yeah. I mean, I guess. I really don't know how to feel about this card. This Synchro seems like it's got a lot of potential. Maybe there's some combos there that I'm just not seeing as of yet. But that's just what I think as of right now. Next up, we have Soul Resonator. So a Fire Fiend Tuner Effect Monster. Level 3, 500 Attack, 200 Defense. You can only use the first and second effects of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is normal or special, you can add one level 4 lower Fiend Monster from your deck to your hand except itself. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra, from, yeah, from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Dark Synchro Monsters. Which is fine because the majority of stuff you play is Dark Synchros and Fiends. Um, so, and, like, all the Resonators are Fiends. So, like, this is going to be, like, a Fiend deck that's centered around, like, Fire Fiends in the form of the Resonators or Dark Fiends and like, some of the other Resonators. Like, this is basically going to be a Resonator deck that focuses around getting out Red Dragon Archfiend, hence why you're always seeing, like, Fire and Dragons and shit like that on the Resonator cards. Uh, if a card or cards you control would be destroyed by a card effect while you control Red Dragon Archfiend or a Synchro Monster that mentions it, you can banish this card from your grave instead. That seems pretty interesting, and it is a level 3 tuner. It's potential. I'll leave it at that. It's potential. Next up, we have Bone Arch Fiend. Dark Fiend Effect Monster Level 4, 18 attack, 0 defense. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is in your hand or grave, you can send one other card from your hand or field to the grave. Special summon this card. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn except Dark Dragon Synchro Monsters. Who gives a shit? You can target one face-up monster you control and one Fiend Tuner. And I'm sorry, send one Fiend Tuner from your hand or deck to the grave. Jesus Christ, I can't read today. And if you do increase or decrease that target's level by one. It's also reprinting a bunch of the Resonator cards. Battle Fader, because that's totally getting used in 2023. Uh, and then the Rumbling of Heaven and Earth pack. 
these are probably just imports that we'll get in our structure deck. Uh, Red Dragon, Archfiend, and Red Nova Dragon. Those would just be reprints in ours, like I said. So I am cautiously optimistic, and honestly, I want to see this structure deck be good. Like, seeing a pure Red Dragon Archfiend deck in the meta would be really cool. But as I always say with, like, these do not buy videos, assuming that I actually make a video talking about do not buy the Jack Atlas structure deck, you have to see if it can actually compete with the current meta. And these are only three cards. I'm sure that there's plenty more in here that we just haven't seen yet. So we just have to wait and see what happens. But let me know your initial thoughts down in the comments. Are you going to be, well, I shouldn't even ask if you're going to pick this up because I think the majority of people are going to pick this shit up. Uh, it's just a matter of seeing if this is going to be booty, booty, butt cheeks or not, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video.